What's up, family? This is your man, not your boy. Go black to Africa. So I am with my big brother again, my elder here, David, who, um, if you all haven't watched some videos maybe a year or so ago, you please do yourself a favor and check out our conversation we had. But I can never come into Ghana without meeting my brother and doing an interview with my brother because he is a powerful brother, an elder, who has so much knowledge to present to each and every one of you all in all aspects of life, of, of uh, knowledge that he obtains. So let's get into it. For those right there who don't know my brother Davi, he has been in Africa for the last 30 plus years. And Davi, let me ask you, man, because every time I see you, man, you just a bundle of joy. And it seems like, man, you get more freer with happiness, man. You, you, you even counsel me at times, man, and finding the good things of, of a situation and finding the joy in things. Please share us, man. Um, is this what Africa's brought in your life from the most high? Uh, please share this joy that you have. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. First of all, giving all praise to the Holy Creator, Yah Yahweh. <clears throat> I think, uh, Kofi, we have to um, just go back to our roots. You know, I mean, it's nothing go black to new. Africa. Go black to Africa. Yeah. <laughs> the root. Yeah, I mean, you know, our fathers and mothers, you know, they used to sing during the slavery days, you know, in America, in the Caribbean, uh, in Brazil. They were singing and they was happy. And uh, so it's in our soul because we have a soul and we are back in the day, soul brothers and soul sisters. Mm -hmm. And our soul is essence um, immortal. And um, so we have to realize um, that we are happy and um, we are created in the happy image of the creator because I don't think the creator is sad, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, we are his children, so we should be happy. And of course, we're living in a time where uh, the kingdom of heaven has come. And what is the kingdom of heaven? The kingdom of heaven is a government of righteous men and women that has uh, come on this earth at this time. Mm -hmm. And this is also the time when all of the evil, if they don't change, will be um, destroyed. Okay, because this is uh, what the people call back in the day the age of Aquarius. Okay, and um, so this is also the age of the kingdom. So this is the time to be happy, you know. It's, it's time to be yeah. happy. Um, when you see the destruction of something that's been destroying the earth, you should rejoice. Mm. So I'm rejoicing because I see um, the um, handwriting on the wall. You know, and these are the days that we've been praying for. We've been praying for the fire to burn them as the Rasta brother would say, you know, fire burn them. Uh, you know, I or, don't like... Or, 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 or burning up the unrighteousness. Absolutely. And who has, whoever's tied to that, they're, they're burnt within that removal Absolutely. of the unrighteousness. Absolutely. I got you. Absolutely. I got you. So, please share with us, man, because uh, I know you, you know, very few know your story, mm -hmm. but you got to a point in America that you mm -hmm. got fed up. Right. And you wanted to set yourself onto Africa. Right. Uh, it, you left your life right. back there. You, you, you came here. You know, you was in Liberia and you wind found yourself here in Ghana. Right. And um, please motivate or encourage people of how or why you did and, and why you left at the time. You know, you keep it simple. Yes. But and, and, and what's your thoughts today that you hear what's going on in America that we still see and ain't nothing changed. But go ahead. Yeah, well basically when I grew up in America it was an apartheid system, you know. You know, my children and others in America that's you know, haven't really been around, they really didn't understand and never saw, you know, colored only as they say back in the day, or uh, whites only, you know, they never saw apartheid like you know, Mandela people saw. Yeah. So America to me was, um, you know, a place where, you know, we were sent to be chastised. It was a prison. Um, it was a place uh, of misery, um, but it was a prison. It was a place that we had to do our sentence. And then uh, when the time came after 400 years, because that was significant, um, in Genesis 15, it says, my seed, Abraham's seed will be in a strange land for 400 years. So <clears throat> the time is up. And as you know, um, um, there was a movement that Martin Luther King saw, bless his soul. He said, we as a people would get to the promised land. 
And then you had so many teachers. Kofi, I had so many teachers. I mean, um, it was a time, you know, the 60s and the 70s was a time of um, great enlightenment. Um, great things happened. We had our brother Ben Amin leaving America in 1967 with a vision that he had seen an angel and the angel told him to leave and take people into Liberia and then into um, Israel to establish the long awaited kingdom of Yahweh. So um, when they left, I was maybe 13 years, so I wasn't able to go Cotton. with them when they left. But by the blessing of the Most High, yeah, I caught up with them um, in the early 80s. Um, they had came to Atlanta and they was teaching. So uh, then I had other teachers like Bob Marley, okay? Um, Peter Tart, great inspiration. You know, they were singing songs like Exodus, Movement of Jai People. And then you had Alex Haley uh, with the movie Roots. Okay, very great book. Uh, this was so influential. So I went on my knees and I prayed. I had a home in New Jersey. I bought a home when I was 25, you know, making some money, but killing myself too, you know, um, at the same time because America has cocaine. They have so many things that can trap you, you know, um, you know, Tupac says, what, America eats her children. Um, but it's the, it's the system, you know, dope is everywhere, um, whiskey, I mean, you name it, you know, false teaching, murders. So we, we was, I was blessed to, to be a part of the movement of Yah's children. And of course, uh, all of that knowledge, Exodus, you know, Ben Amin teaching and uh, understanding, you know, the age of Aquarius, you know, that this was a different time, you know, uh, we are winners, Curtis Mayfield song, we are winners, everybody knows it too, so we are winners, because I could have, we could have been born 200 years ago, we would have been in slavery, owned by somebody else, our mothers being raped, our wives being raped by somebody else. Mm -hmm. We were spared that, mm -hmm. okay? Our fathers fought in the Civil War. Over 700,000 Americans lost their lives, mostly Southerners. And mm -hmm. we joined with the North and fought them to help break the back of slavery. So we had, blood had, to, had to, 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 to be shed. But the good news is that we was born during a time when the gates was open to Africa. Mm -hmm. Because in 1953, there was only three independent countries in Africa, Ethiopia, Liberia, and Egypt. Mm -hmm. But now, in the 60s, they got their independence. So the doors of Africa just opened. Mm -hmm. Now, so, go ahead. So, so you settling here in Ghana, mm -hmm. um, you have gotten land, mm -hmm. Have a house, several houses. <laughs> farm. All the land is my yes. Farm is key. I love the farm. farming. Yeah, I love growing you know, organic food. Uh, you love go You know, you 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 love living off of the grid. Yes. And you have found that that is something that you like to promote to yes. people: being self-independent, self-sustaining, and there's no other better place than a twenty-four basically our uh, uh, a day sun right uh, with warm climate yes that one can continuously feed themselves take care of themselves and not be dependent yes please share with us that about that a little bit about that um, that deals with our self sustainability that's a great question Kofi um, certainly um, you know off the grid that's where we are now we off the grid um, still got maybe 10% more solar, but we harvest a lot of rainwater. Um, it's not in independence, it's interdependence, because we, we, we are living communally, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not um, just me, it's us. We have the Jerusalem Brotherhood, we have um, the Righteous Brotherhood, we have uh, brothers and sisters that thinking in terms of um, breaking away from the capitalist system, which is a system where 10% um, of the people control 90% of the money. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to be a part of that because it's unjust. Mm -hmm. um, so um, living off the land is easier. And of course, we have our great teacher that taught us the restoration village concept. And also, this is the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, okay, that was what? An escape plan. Mm -hmm. 
okay? That was an escape plan. And Noah was what? Storing food. In this age, we have nuclear threats. We believe that this world will be destroyed by fire. So it's important for us to not be in these cities. Because one thing COVID-19 taught us was that people in the cities got locked down and they didn't get a chance to get outside, catch some sunlight. Many of them perished because they couldn't really get into nature. So we returned to nature, which is close to God, growing your own food, harvesting rainwater, eating organic food. That's the way to go when you come to Africa. Mm. Okay, you have your security networks, you have the, the angels, the animals protecting you, you know, um, you have so many um, beautiful things happening once you get on the land. Clean, fresh air you're breathing, yeah. good food. So that makes you happy. And you see the victory. The victory is at hand now. This is the time now where righteousness will cover the earth like waters covers the sea. You know, in America, even in most Western countries, people believe that everything is okay. Right. You know, you see and hear things now where like mm -hmm. uh, black on black crimes is getting out of hand. Mm -hmm. You see where it's the judicial system was on the attack of a black man, whether it's the prison system, the police shooting killings, mm -hmm. you know, Tyree Nichols that just happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like, you, you, we have seen this over the years. Yes. It ain't nothing really changed. Right. I mean. Absolutely not. You know, I mean. It got worse. It's gotten worse. You say it's got worse. And people don't believe that. But. What do you say to open the eyes of the brothers and sisters in a system that they believe things are getting better? Um, I would say they should go into prayer and meditation um, to escape the trap because it's a trap that uh, they're in. Okay, America is one big trap. Um, and, you know, America teach people that they're number one. In fact, their, their country code is 001. Mm -hmm. And they always say that they're the best, they're number one, they're the richest, but they're the richest in terms of 10% um, um, of the people having 90% of the money. So mm -hmm. if you want to call that rich country, <laughs> you understand, yeah. uh, then more power to you. But uh, I would say to my people that, um, you know, Revelation 18 says, come out of her, my people, uh, so that you don't share in her uh, plagues. Okay, so those are the plagues that's falling on the brothers that you're talking about, the police brutality. Uh, you know, the sure. killing of all those people. Those are the plagues. And he said, so that you don't share in her sin. Okay, so the sins is homosexuality, sins is um, uh, broken families, you know, sins corruption is corruption, destroying you know, other countries. You know, and you know we, I was looking at the telly, you know, we dress like Europeans, we got our, we're still straightening our hair in 2023, you know, we're still um, in the image of um, the Euro Gentile. And we need to be wearing our own clothes. You know, mm -hmm. our hair need to be, because our hair is spiral. We need to be able to connect with the universe, like mm -hmm. your hair. Your hair is spiral. Mm -hmm. So you can connect with the universe because the universe is spiral. Mm -hmm. So in essence, um, we have to, I would say to my people, um, decolonize your mind because you have been, I have a book here that I love to share. Uh, in America, it says, From Niggas to Gods. Okay, that's one of the books. Okay, and then we have other one, God the Black Man and Truth. But from niggas to God, uh, America creates us in an image that they want us to be in. Okay, remember back in the day, they, the, the, the KKK would always say, "Stay in your place." Yeah, you yeah. know, stay in your place. They want us to stay in the fire with them, in the destruction with them, and burn with them. Let's say a Russian attacks America tomorrow. Well, who's going to get burned? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of black folks going to get burned. A lot of Asians going to get burned. A lot of your best going. To... So it's a thing where you got to read the handwriting on the wall, Kofi. It's up. Yeah. To, you know, uh, Russia is not playing, and it's not just Russia. It's just Revelation 18. Okay. Russia, They're... China, um, yeah, Europe, and all them. This whole mess that they are creating. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know. I wanted just to do a video so people can get a little uh, feel about who you are because um, there are so many people out here who's been in Africa for so many years. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys are, and women are the pillars who's been out here Thank you. Uh, for so many years and still have a helping hand for those who are coming. 
Yes, because it's a, it's a government. You see, mm -hmm. we are we the, the kingdom of Yahweh has been established and it's a righteous structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's righteous men and women coming together, Kofi, like you, others. You see, you take a country like America. They said America the great. America had, first of all, it was the, um, the British that broke away, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, it was a colony, but as it grew, it got bigger and bigger. So the kingdoms like that in the beginning. Must have seen kingdom, mm -hmm. a new government mm -hmm. of righteous men and women. So when you see that there's a, a new government mm -hmm. of righteousness, you rejoice mm -hmm. because there's hope. There's no more disease. You know, it's written also, folks, there'll be no more dying, no more crying, no more pain, no more suffering. Mm -hmm. now, I didn't write that. That's found in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. So if there's going to be no more dying, no more crying, no more pain, then there's got to be something to cause that to, to happen. I say that. You know, being a vegan helps. You know, fasting, mm -hmm. living in a clean environment mm -hmm. helps. You know, getting off the white sugar. Mm -hmm. You know, getting off anger, getting off tell lie vision. Mm -hmm. That helps you. You know. You make mention of that because you know, you have a, a business that you run. You know, I call him the Plant Man because he's yeah. got all these plants. Yeah, I grow food. He grows yeah, everything. Grow food. Can't buy stuff from. Uh, Hey, I'm not licking that fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 man, you you got plants all over the place. But you know, I know you you wrote a book. Uh, yes, thank and, you. And you also sell your products and stuff that you do. Please share with the people mm -hmm. um, how you do that and what it is it that you're doing. Well, you see, when you when you leave Babylon, the West. You have time because remember now when you are in America you have to work usually you have to work a job okay because they don't encourage you to set up business okay mm -hmm. they don't encourage you to own they encourage you to rent mm -hmm. so they occupy most of your time so when you come to Africa you have time mm -hmm. most African have time they you can walk on the street they will you start saying something they will stop mm -hmm. okay and listen to you for hours mm -hmm. you've seen that yeah yes Yes, time is not of essence in Africa. So, which will drive us crazy because we've been indoctrinated that time. Right. That you know, you want everything right now. Everything's on a schedule. Right. Here is a little different. Absolutely. Oh, a whole lot different. Absolutely. Really. So I've had time to write books. So mm -hmm. instead of just watching television, you know, over the last you know twenty five years or so, I just started writing. You know, mm -hmm. writing books because I figured that we're going to need certain books. What's the and, book you wrote? Uh, well. I wrote about five. Okay. Wrote about five right, I wrote yeah. about my latest one is called. I love this one, but um, this one is called uh, not begging but producing. Okay. Nah. Yeah, not begging, but because we gotta stop begging. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop coming up short. Mm -hmm. We're coming up short because we are what? Let's take like Ghana here. In Ghana here, we are mostly shopkeepers. You know, mm -hmm. we we were selling stuff, a lot of imported stuff. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, we're importing like $45 billion worth of rice. Mm -hmm. And then we grow a lot of rice too, but we don't eat our rice, mm -hmm. you see? So we got to stop begging, mm -hmm. you understand? Um, we got to stop going to the IMF and the World Bank, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the other one is, I wrote how to live rich and successful in Africa without depending on money. Mm. I wrote this when I was in Israel, I had time. I was 90 days there for once, you know, mm -hmm. and I was on the mountain and I just say, what? Can, what solution can I bring on this economic situation? Because economic was beating everybody up most. Yeah. So I just wrote it over a couple of years, and it's just some keys on how to break away from the dollar. Because Peter Tosh, the late Peter Tosh, said the day the dollar dies. So the dollar is going to die. Uh, you can see the economy now is collapsing. Mm -hmm. So we got to get off the paper currency mm -hmm. and get on food currency, mm -hmm. owning land, solar, harvesting water. So that works for us, okay? So that book was written for my people to give them an understanding. It's nothing wrong with having gold and paper, but realize that you can't eat paper. Yeah. And you really can't eat gold. Right. The Japanese can't eat the Toyota and he can't eat the computers. Right. You see? So we're gonna need some food and we're gonna need a place to stay without paying rent. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna need some energy because you can't depend on these these dams, you know, mm. damming up these places, and it's not natural. We're going to depend on, we got to depend on solar and other um, um, natural um, energy sources. Well, you know, uh, family, I just wanted to go ahead and give you our introdu uh, introduction right. to David. Right. Then another one I want to share and, uh, before we get off the book. 
my teacher, Ben Ami, wrote one called Physical Immortality, Conquering Death. Yeah. And me and you, we had a conversation about that. You see, many people believe that they got to die and go to heaven. Mm. I say, fine, if you believe that you got to die, that's fine. But I don't believe in that because I've been taught differently because we have these teachers and there are more teachers that teaches us. So, you know, I don't want to, uh, for us to continue to believe that you're old at 80 or 90. See, Kofi, some people say you're old, but you're not old. Am mm. I right or wrong? You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. So, hey, it's all about the mind. It's all about the mind. And, and it, takes, it takes time, though. You see, you don't, you don't go to a university and come out, if you're in the right university, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't go into a university and come out with your degree in two months. Mm -hmm. You got to usually wait four years. Mm -hmm. So when you come to Africa, Africa is a university. Mm -hmm. You know, it was the first university here. This mm -hmm. is the university where the Torah came from in Egypt. Moses wrote the Torah in Egypt. Mm -hmm. That was a university. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we have to like, go into our schools. Our schools, we're sending them up now. Kofi, you are one of the teachers in this school. Mm -hmm. You teach a lot of people, so I thank you for the work that you're doing. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, time is uh, winding down. So I appreciate you, brother, for the knowledge that you share with us and you always share with me. Definitely open up my pineal gland, as Great. some would say, Great. in order to see the truth. Absolutely. But um, how can people uh, reach you? Okay, great. They can reach me on um, our website and my email is africaup at yahoo.com. And um, my uh, WhatsApp is 233-244. 214-680. That's the what's up. And the uh, website is www.yesorganicfarms.net. Yes Organic Farms, F A R M S, dot net. And um, we're here to serve. Uh, we're here to help liberate our people from starvation, disease, ignorance, and to bring about love, true love, love of self, love of your brother man. You know, we have eliminated so many things that plagued us in America. You know, All right. We definitely, did. definitely. All right, family. Well, hey, this is your man. This is your... Your, your big brother. <laughs> <laughs> Humble servant. Not your boy. Yes. Go. But the new man. The new Adam. <laughs> Go Fly back to, to Africa. Africa.